This is the extras of the Jimmy People's Podcast. Is that what this is? The People's <laughs> Podcast. <Mind. laughs> <laughs> extras, <laughs> podcast in a taxi. Podcasts in a taxi. Podcast. Depending on how People controversial podcast. the comments are, we will uh, we will not be posting this if it's really bad. No, we're gonna yeah. post the white black guy and the Filipino guy. This is uh, Michael Lee. This okay, is, uh, for the record, guys. Adam Morris, Michael Lee, Jimmy Peoples, the great Jimmy Peoples, Adam Morris. Yeah. And we're on our way to stand up New York. Yes. And um, for the record. I'm not Filipino. <laughs> I'm Korean. I love saying you're Filipino. I get yeah, Filipino yeah. all the Filipino time at work. Filipino I don't need Korean. to get it at open mics. <laughs> it's okay. you North Korea or South Korea? I'm not oh, curious. See, here we go. That's part of the joke. Filipinos are mostly nurses, right? North would be a long swim, buddy. <laughs> and do I look like I eat plastic fruit? Come on, man. <laughs> That's the one thing Trump is going to do if, if we go to he's war. He's going to deport he's, me, right? He, no, he's going to make it easier for us to ask if North Korea or South Korea. It's going to be one Korea. Think so? Yeah, of that's course. true. Yeah. <laughs> you get rid of North Korea, they're just gonna say, "Yeah, you're Korean." <laughs> I would see. I would love to hear you guys' uh, feelings on this. Like, there's a lot of stuff on Twitter right now complaining about tr uh, Russia and how they tampered. It's like, look, it's done and over with. If this crazy president starts a war, I know I want Russia on our side. Why? Because they're a world power, and that guy don't play. Like, Putin doesn't play. Like, if we're gonna get in a war, I hope Russia has our back. Mm. I don't want them trying to freaking bomb us too. I can see that. I mean, you wouldn't want North Korea because they mess up so many missile launches, right? <laughs> they don't even know how to get that shit straight. I, yeah. I find that guy comical because it's like, you know... Kim Trump, Jong -un? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trump just makes... You kind of look like him. Oh, me? <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Do you hear this shit? <laughs> <laughs> you kind of like... like <laughs> you'd make a great dictator. Right? Would I really? Because I'm short. <laughs> They're all 5'5", five, five, angry. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, traps. <laughs> great. Yeah, but, yeah. This is what we talk about, man. This is what we <laughs> just shit on each other all, all, all day, man. Yeah, it's all fine. The first he said I was you Filipino. You now, now he's like, you know what? Now you're now you're Korean, but you're a North Korean dictator. <laughs> <laughs> Who dictator makes his own beats? That must be so cool. Oh my god! <laughs> Listen and like it. I demand you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I guess since Trump's a big talking point, I just get why people can't get he's going to keep doing retarded shit. He's, he's going to say he's retarded one, shit. He's, he's, a, a, he's an entertainer. Yeah. Dude, he's, he is WWE-ing this whole presidency. Without you know? a doubt. That's, he's just playing this. Because right now, he's just he's, he's the bad villain in every wrestling match. You know, I feel like the one thing that something's gonna happen, and then he's gonna we're gonna be like, oh, let him lose his hair, and he goes bald. Then he's gonna look like a hero. <laughs> then he's gonna, he, bald Trump? Did you see the picture of bald Trump? I was like, I can get, but that's Lex Luthor. Well, he loses his hair in the next four years. We'll get by him. Yo, I, I just love words. how in the campaign he just slammed every Republican in his way. Yep. Bam, yeah. bam, yeah. bam, yeah. took him down. Nobody, 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 Twitter nobody, to take him down nobody too. Nobody else was on WWE. That's why if The Rock runs, he would give him a hard time. The Rock is the only other person that knows that. And he's talking about running for president. Now. Even sure though he's Republican, but you know, yeah, he, I would Republican. rather The Rock over of this fucking. His motivational speeches are going to sound much better than Trump's. Um, I, don't, I don't care. What, he may not know what he's talking about, but if you hear The Rock give a speech, I'm like, hey, whatever. Cut, cut. Yeah. He wouldn't even need to campaign. His People just love him. Yeah, so he would just it. win. He wouldn't want to be a landslide. I, I don't know. I'm thinking like we had a president that deadlifts. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but we, we had a black president and now we have a white racist president who's in his 70s who was an entertainer. Yeah. I'm thinking we might be ready for a woman. Unless The Rock runs. Like, if The Rock runs, I don't, I don't know what woman's going to... I mean, we've been ready for a woman. But, but, but she's, she's, you know, she, this guy? she can't just... Win because she's a woman. Can't just stop know? in the middle of the road, buddy. No, and I think I think Joe fucked up Hillary. She, she's got to be a uh, uh, Michelle Obama. That's where she's got to oh, be. Oh, I, I could see Michelle and Obama then, running yeah, for president. I, I, I hope I really they're could. grooming her right now yeah. for, for that. But, uh, we need another Obama. She said, in no, office. we need one. That'd be cool. We need one. Yeah. Or so, yeah, because the kids ain't gonna be ready for another twenty years, yep. thirty years. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha and Malia, president, president Sasha, president Malia, yeah. 
I'll take that. With all this internet, I'm waiting for the next Manchurian candidate. Like, they've made two movies about that, where that somebody has been groomed since they were like... That was Obama. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was what? definitely Obama. Obama was definitely Manchurian He was the Manchurian candidate? candidate? Hell yeah. You think Where so? did he come from? Really? Nah. I don't know. Nah. No. Nah. You can't, you can't tell... No. I think Manchurian candidates are all... It's too perfect. <laughs> it's too perfect. Yeah, and even if he's they don't, they don't make a, yep. they don't make black guys like that. Nah. <laughs> nah. I mean, I'll say it. Don't give a shit. Nah, even if he did some fucking. You know, up you shit. know somebody as cool as Obama? Then just no, no. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Wow. Tell me they they didn't they didn't splice his DNA. That's yeah. funny. It was years in the making. That's the thing, though. Even if he did something screwed up, America could never let that come out because he was the first black president. Like, you, you can't have that stain. Because they, they were saying that Michelle was actually a, a, a guy. Oh, funny that you did. InfoWars? <laughs> InfoWars has so much information on Michelle. She killed so much shit. <laughs> yeah, Michelle's really Michael, and he, he, he I got, like, video of him saying Michael by accident. And <laughs> it's, it's crazy. But even if Michelle was a tranny, it, it was I would still vote for her. She's not a tranny. tranny. You said the T word. Huh? You said the T word. Transvestite? <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the thing to say. It, it, it's out there. It, there's a lot of shit out there. That, they said that's why they killed Joan Rivers, because she was saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I, met, I met her her and Billy Idol at a party one night. We were really? Having a, yeah, but when I was, you did. When I was executive sous chef at 235th Avenue. That was, uh, that's the one comic I would like to meet, Joan Rivers. Oh, my God. She was so nice. They were doing a sex party, and she's just out there with their loud sex voice. Sex party? Yeah, it was like a sex toy party. Really? Like, you had all these weird celebrities that were there. Those are the two that stick in my mind, because they actually came back in the kitchen and talked to talked to me and the other chef. Uh-huh. You know, she's a really sweet woman, now. Like, you guys were saying how you had met Amy Schumer, and, yeah. you know, she was a sweetheart. Like, well, was, I wouldn't go that far. She just said hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. She was cool, though. Let's not, you know how some comics at open mics are just like... Staring at their notes, they don't want to talk to nobody. They don't even want to make eye contact, or they don't want to associate with you because they've seen you bomb, and they're just like, "I don't want to be, I don't want to touch him. He's, he's not funny. I don't want to associate with him." She was just like, "Cool." She was said, "Hi." She was, we had a little conversation, and my buddy knows her too. My buddy says they still talk too. I mean, hey, that's the way you should be, but not all people are like that, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, man. So you you're a sous you were a sous chef or you still a sous chef? I, I was there. Now I'm just a consultant chef, which means I basically work whenever I want. Like uh, me and Jimmy that's were talking life, about this man. yesterday. I'm that's white, the life. I'm white. What do you call? I'm white privilege, white trash. The, the last consulting white privilege, white trash. I'm white Don't tell Trump white you're white trash. trash. <laughs> you see that YouTube clip? He fired that guy right away. He said, white trash? Do you consider yourself white trash? <laughs> I don't want anybody working for me that considers them white trash. Get fired. <laughs> So you make your own hours. That's cool. Yeah, it is. It is nice, you know. So you can take like a week off or two weeks off and just yeah, be yeah. Paid. No, and when I do work here and there, and it's getting more sporadically because uh, again, I'm white privileged, so I have a, I have a little bit of money in the bank. So it's getting a little <laughs> more sporadically. What so what are your thoughts on white privilege, Jimmy? What? That's why I keep them around. I, uh... White privilege, to <laughs> me, right? I've been arrested between 25 and 30 times. Mm. The most time I've ever spent in jail is four months because I would always have a paid lawyer. You're telling me that's not white privilege? I used to go to fucking the courthouse on Wabash Avenue in West Baltimore. I'd be the only white guys, and the judge would be like, 10 years, five years. Yeah, Mr. Morris, probation, you just came with a $5,000 lawyer. Oh, my that's God. not white privilege? I don't know, man. That's crazy. It is. So DOC, huh? Yeah, that's the way the system is, man. It's, it's wow. so screwed up. If you if you pay, you can play. So how's it being a sous chef? What do you, what can you cook? What do you cook? Uh, my favorite food to cook, honestly, is Caribbean food. Nice. Like uh, I'm not as creative as I used to be. Uh, the last two ceviche dishes I came up with, I did. Uh, How's a ceviche? A ceviche is uh, raw fish. It's like sushi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But nice. you you add uh, usually lime juice, lemon juice to it to because uh, it cures it. Yeah. And so uh, the last... I want, to tell, I want to tell you about this restaurant idea. I'm not going to okay. do it on this. But. Okay, yeah, we can... Okay, all right. All right. We talk about trannies, but, you know, you want to keep everything else <laughs> under, yeah. under, yeah. undercover, right? Talk about Michelle's a tranny, but it, 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 I don't want to, you know, put my idea out there, you know, my, my grand idea. Of this. course not. You can't I, I need that. to cook. <laughs> yeah, I need to cook. Tell me if it's trash or not, but... Uh, there's always the thing about the restaurant industry is most restaurants fail within the first two years. Yeah, I love failing. I, I, I'm yeah. not, no worried about failing. They usually peak around ten, yeah. and they usually close out at twenty, unless it's like 
Bubba Gump, you know, that's mm-hmm. that's gonna be there forever. Okay. Apple that's ridiculous that that caught on. That they they ran with that. Yeah, and the guy who played Bubba Gump, does he get any other check from that? Doubt it. Good no. question. Probably he, not. No. An no. actor. He is, he, I doubt like it. We were talking yeah. about royalties with uh, yeah. porn actresses. Yeah. You know, I'm sure it's the same way for him. Dude, they didn't call it Forrest Gump. They called it Bubba Gump. Yeah, Bubba Gump. Bubba Gump trip. Damn. Wow. I'd like to see that. Speaking of Forrest Gump, I'd like to see Tom Hanks as a bad guy. He was Tom? a bad guy. In a movie. What he movie? The Maltese Circle. The Circle, whatever uh, it's called. What a, what a niche. Niche? The Maltese Circle? Yeah, that came, it came out last year. Really? It might have yeah. been this year. He, uh... He was the villain. You're gonna have to check that out. Gotta check that out. Yep. Comedians make the best villains. Why? I think they come from from a Why? from a dark place. Oh, when you when you brought it up, when I see project? I seen Denzel Washington trending today, and I got so scared. Like you talked about the villain comedian, like you know the first time he played the villain, yeah. you know King Kong ain't got shit on me. Yeah. Yeah. You know when I seen him trending today, I'm like fuck Denzel, you're doing it too now. But it was just his birthday, so yeah. I, I, what did what did it say when it announced his name? What was the headline? It was uh, he was trending, and different people were saying different things. Like some people were like saying basically what I'm saying, like fuck, I'm scared. I was scared that Denzel sexually yeah. harassed somebody. Yeah. They, you know, they said that when when I read T.J. Miller, like it's, like it says what they did, but it says that they like they recently did a um, what it, what it, the, the the ex star of yeah he got so, fired so, he so, lost so, his job for that the, no the ex star of Silicon Valley yeah but then they say T.J. Miller and you're like oh fuck he died and then yeah. he, then they say oh, accused of sexual assault and you're like sigh of relief mm. but. It's still fucked up because now you're like, oh, I'm glad he's not dead, but yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's sexual, on that list he's, a, too. he's an assault. He didn't assault, assault anybody. Him. It was, uh, I believe it was, um, Sarah Silverman. He wrote an email to like a transgender person, mm-hmm. and it was just very disparaging. And uh, oh, so he's just an he asshole. Got fired. He's he is an asshole. <laughs> he, he is an asshole. <laughs> Something like that. I might be butchering that, but um, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think, I don't think got, he should have got accused of job. Yeah, but come on. That was like well, 40 years ago or something. Who fucking remembers anything from 40 years ago, right? I, like, I meant to talk about this on stage today. I think a lot of women are doing it because as men, as we get older, we don't want to have as much sex as we did when we were in our 20s or our teenage years. Women still want to bang like animals in their 50s and 60s. Yeah. That's, that's a tried and proven fact, and I've had experience with it, you know? You said men want to fuck less? Not yeah, it's really? like once you hit 30, our testosterone level goes. Unless you're a sex addict. You know, I do have an uncle who's like 65, still getting hookers and eating Viagra like it's I'm fucking still, candy. I'm still, I'm still. I'm going to cut that part out of the podcast. <laughs> no, do not edit that. <laughs> no, I guess it's, I think if you if you work out and you take care of yourself, you eat good and you still, you know, you eat your, uh, your, your... No, don't get me wrong. When I stop drinking, I get very manic and then... Then it comes back, yeah. but when I'm drinking, it you know keeps me calm. It's like it's my medicine. Um, yeah, I can't drink anymore. Well, good for you. I, yeah. I need no, to get me to that good. point. And I don't drink, so I'm always on. I'm like, I'm, yeah. I need to put a hole in something. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up. I'm By all, the way, I'm, I'm, speaking I'm of like, which, <laughs> how's that bodybuilding chick you've been going out with? No, I, I never. I don't even. Talk. I'm not even at gym anymore. It work out. There was one time, and it was like. We messed around and then Okay You see I was talking to another friend of mine Like her face was too strong like, Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah Oh face. man Her body Like her silhouette like, You told me the silhouette was silhouette, amazing silhouette Her hair Perfect. She had great hair But her face was She had witch face So it was like mm. Oh man But then I, I, I messed yeah, this up Yeah you don't drink so yeah Yeah I don't drink <laughs> And I was like I can't hide it You can't You can only put her face in the pillow but so, Oh god Much <laughs> Maybe you we know, can edit that part of the podcast. No, that's, I don't want to edit it. I'll, 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 I'll keep it in that part. You know? I mean, I'm eventually going to get some trouble for something else yeah, that I see. Exactly. Someone's going to chop this podcast up. Yeah, they'll be like, <laughs> like it. Be face like, in the pillow, face, face in the pillow, put your face in the pillow. Because a face so ugly. It's like, how many witch faces do you know? Which, which <laughs> that, that are a, The name of this podcast is, is The Witch Face Chronicles. Oh, The Witch Face Chronicles. <laughs> I was out of time on that one. Part I'm gonna two. I'm going to have to... Uh, you need more memory? I'm going to have to yeah. sign... This is an Android, but I'm going to have to sign up with this. I use this speaker studio. Oh. And if you pay five ninety nine a month, you do get 45 minutes a day. You sound like that's your sponsor. <laughs> yes, I know. Speaker studio. All right. It's advertisements. Why are, you, why are we receiving this advertisement? Because you're not paying a subscription. <laughs> 
guys. Oh, good. Yeah, 15 for just five nine nine ninety nine. You're yeah. still recording? <laughs> huh? You're still recording? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, you got yeah. what is that? Samsung? Yeah, Samsung eight. Eight. Yeah. What would you like to say about the review of the Samsung eight? Why? Because I'm Asian. <laughs> yeah. I'm up on all the. I'm up on all the phones. Of course. All the technology. Because you're the next dictator of North Korea. Exactly. I dictate the Samsung phones. Right? Everybody gets Samsung. <laughs> That's oh, the one man. I want to get. It's Samsung. whatever. Active. Oh, it's whatever. We're almost there, right? Because I don't think I can take yeah. this podcast anymore. <laughs> Someone's going to say something like racist. He's going to talk so much shit about us when we get out. <laughs> He's going to make us fucking idiots. Fucking idiots. No more comics like in my car. Which, which face? <laughs> Who says which I'm gonna face? I'm going to have to stick this guy nice. His you want to say your like... name for the podcast? <laughs> No, you don't have to. It's okay. Just make it. <laughs> we'll tag you on Facebook. Yeah, he's, 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 yeah. <laughs> don't, don't you can be a part of it, and we'll call you every time we do a podcast. Oh, yeah. We'll be like, yeah, this is our drive. Yo, this could be so big. It's not going to be big at all. We got two people listen. The only one we're missing is Nya. 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 <laughs> It'll we, get you more ratings. We have this guy, Nya. <laughs> when we were co- going to uh, Stand Up New York, Nya, and... um. He looks at me. We're, 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 I'm sitting in the back with him. Jimmy's in the front. He looks at me and he goes, Yo, uh, you Korean, right? I'm like, Yeah. And then I'm like, All right, here we go. Here we go. And he goes, I heard a lot of Koreans. I heard they like leasing cars, huh? I'm like, the leasing cars. I was like, Do you have like a bank of stereotypes in your fucking head? I was like, Where did that come from? Hey, my only stereotype is like all the Koreans own the bodegas in my area. So they always give me my weather report. That's a fact. That's not even a story. He's <laughs> you know, like, it's going to be very cold next week. I love yeah. black Korea. I love, I, love, I love black Asians, man. Black Asians? Yeah. I haven't heard of black Asian in a while. I think if you mix Asian with any other race, you're going to get a beautiful baby. Yeah, a beautiful, beautiful alien person. looking baby. Like, even a long beautiful neck, person. Japan, Japanese, big forehead yeah. baby. Now, do they come with a small dick or a big dick? Um, when you mix anything, it's hit or miss. It's okay. left a, a, you see this big ass black motherfucker come out with like yeah, you know and it happens, it happens, and you get this little Asian. Now that's a that's a stere- that's a stereotype too. The the BBC. No, I've been in jail and like you, no, you're naked in front of it everybody. It is. Listen. I hate I hate to do this to your to no. your to your listeners, Jimmy, but no. it is. It's not, it's, it's, Look, you know I work in a hospital. You know how many uh, black dicks I've seen <laughs> in the hospital at age seventy. Maybe they shrink like they, with they height do, too. I don't know, they, man. They but do shrink because we're in the cold weather. And that's what's fucked oh, up about. I don't know. Women. There's you a lot of heat in my hospital, white. buddy. <laughs> you got a hot hospital. Uh, yep. But their, <laughs> their tits start sagging. Why can't our dicks start sagging? It's not African Americans. African Americans have been bred with white people. So mm-hmm. through the years, we we. Trying to help it out. No, nah, I mean, the, look at Tom. How many black people you know when you'd hear the name Jefferson because of what, what that fucking guy was doing? You know, he yeah. definitely had a sweet tooth you know, for the black women. Mix it with uh, thanks to white people. Well, yeah, you get that. But uh, all right, that's where the racist part comes in. Like, like, like <laughs> it's a little too late. <laughs> like, that's the big joke in Africa. It's like, yeah, you're an African with a we little didn't make penis. It in time. Huh? Uh, we didn't make it in time. That's where the racist comments come in. <laughs> I mean, I'm absolutely racist. So, I, uh, uh, well, that's nice of you to admit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm not racist because I don't hate anybody, but I am. I do prejudge. Sure. And prejudice? Yes. Yep. But you also can't hate people that prejudge you if, if you prejudge. Well, I know people who prejudge me. I, I, All right. All right. Everywhere I go, they prejudge me. See, I don't get that because you're very well spoken. I mean, okay, here we go. Well spoken. Well spoken. No, like if you go down south, well spoke, black people good? speak so well. Black people, I don't care if this sounds racist. Black people sound different down south. You Google words. There's, there's just, a, it's a different tone. You know what I'm saying? It's just a different tone. Like, like if, if I was a blind person on a New York City train and heard a black person talk, because from growing up down south, I might think they're white. You know, down south people just get that twang, and especially the brothers. That's that's just my experience. And if if that sounds racist tonight. Oh, you could. I hope it doesn't, but I'm sure somebody like, did, did like see, Mike said, did, somebody will butcher it up. What, what, what's, what's your name? What's your name? Mine? Yeah. Oh, well, it's Kern Jeet, but my middle name is Sahil. Like, Sahil. Really goes by Sahil. See the way Sahil looked at you? He was like, yeah, you're fucking racist. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're fucking nah. racist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Now, I might start owning that shit on stage now, because if you're white and you're just not basically saying you're an asshole, you're racist. You know, so I might just get up and say, I'm an Irish drunk racist. I hate all you fuckers. Well, 
You know, it's like, Good where do you go with this? Yeah, 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 we right. expect it. <laughs> that comes with your voice. Yeah, that'll but, be uh, expected. <laughs> you know, I would never say that on stage. Yeah, oh. Speak your truth, brother. Hey, I don't think Kramer thought that either. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> and it all just came out like a waterfall. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, man. He's someone you don't hear about anymore, right? No, no, no. He took you, all Seinfeld money and now he's in therapy. He was like, bury yourself in a hole. Yep. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, he's a little bit older, too, and I don't know how much of a comic he ever was. He was a good actor, and they wrote him a, you know, really goofy character. Yeah. He, he wasn't even good. a comedian, though. He was an actor, and then he went into stand-up after. Oh, Seinfeld. shit. He was like, don't. He couldn't, he couldn't handle the bomb, and that's what happened to yeah. him. Oh, <laughs> there the it is. The only actor I've seen that has made a pretty successful stand-up career, and I watched his special the other night. He's really fucking funny. as Bob Saget. Bob Saget. He used to do stand-up before. Yeah, he was before, a comic. Um, he was definitely yeah. a comic. He's yeah. dirty suit. That's why when they picked him for Full House, exactly. they were like, we were like what? Are you sure? <laughs> he's like, yeah, he has a good look. He's a good dad look. But he's like, you don't know Bob, though. Yeah. Bob's a dirtbag. <laughs> and they, they, were like, they had to sit him down and give him the speech about what he couldn't couldn't say in front of yeah. the kids. Yeah. Well, I love that guy. That was, that's funny. No, he had a great bit about, you know, he, like he'd do this line and they go cut and he'd, he'd be like, yeah, I have fucking Tourette's. Just cause <laughs> I, I'd be like, shit, fuck blowjob. <laughs> that's awesome. His best one, he was like, yeah, as soon as Kimmy Gable got of age, I fucked her. No, <laughs> yeah. shit. Did he yeah, really? That was on that's what he said. <laughs> Kimmy was hot, though, right? Yeah. Kimmy, <laughs> ah, Kimmy was hot. <laughs> Yo! Did you watch Saved by the Bell? I did. Oh, God, yes. Lisa yeah. Turtle, man, she's ruined now. Yeah, what she What happened? Is. She oh. Sammy sosa herself. What's yeah, going on with that? Yeah, I, 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 Oh, man. She's got emotional things that I don't think she ever learned how to get under control. Man, yeah, Lisa I'm Turtle. sure there's some type of abuse in there because she was a beautiful girl. Yeah. Who's the brunette with the curly hair? God. The showgirls. Uh, the showgirls, yeah. Jesse Berkeley. She's still hot, right? Yeah. Jessie the other Berkeley's one got hot. a little kind of, she got a little chunky. Uh, Decent? Yeah. Tiffany Amber Thiessen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she's still cute. I wouldn't kick her out of bed, but, she, you know, she's she's definitely got that 40s weight going on. Yeah, she's pretty. You remember, remember the chick from Small Wonder? The robot? What? Small remember Wonder. the robot from Small Wonder? The girl Small that Wonder? used to keep in the closet? Wait, on Small Wonder? Small Wonder was when they uh, adopted, the, they made the robot girl for the son. No, And then she was a part of the family. She was like the daughter. What year was the son? Shit, this might be the like 80s or the 90s. Early 90s? Maybe, uh, The other one that always depresses me, and she's still kind of cute, is, uh... Punky Brewster. Punky Brewster was hot. Girl, God, I had to get a tit reduction. Did she? Yeah, her things got so big. Like, she had this thing. Supposedly, very few women get it. But it's where your tits just get, like, gigantic. You know, I don't Gig- even know. Is that a word? Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking right now. Gigantic. <laughs> yes. Uh, they were fucking huge. Uh, gigantic life of Adam Morris. <laughs> gigantic. <laughs> See them gigantic titties? Gigantora. <laughs> gigantic. That's perfect. And he's an advocate of Thomas Jefferson. Guys, so. <laughs> he's, Thomas Jefferson loved his, those gigantic titties. Gigantic. That's awesome. Oh, I don't know, man. Punky Booster was dope. Oh, I gosh. She's at, man. And you had Lassard in there from, uh, Somebody else. From the police academy. You know, he, he played the father. The dude that played Lassard in the uh, police com- academy. He was the father of the, the orphan father. He was the adoptive parent. A lot of people don't make it out of being child stars. I mean, that's, that's... No, it's... Josh like Brolin did, though. Who? They know Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin did. Yeah. Josh Brolin did. did uh... I mean, pr- no, I don't think anybody knew him for like 20 years after that. After the and then either. now he's... Got a resurgence. Um, they were talking about somebody. The, the uh, damn. He's not really an actor, but who's he, uh, Slater? Slater. What's, what's his name? Oh Slater? yeah, yeah. He's uh, no, Mario Slater. Lopez. No, Mario Lopez. Yeah. Like, I guess he's the most famous of. Got a fucking news reporter. How but, was that? Uh, that's a new career. But that's you know like, his. You don't know him as that. Like, his child's good star. Like he he made a new lane for himself. Yeah. That's, he may not yeah. be in big budget movies, but he's still... He's not in movies anymore, though. No. Like, Josh Brolin's still grinding I think he movies. could. I, th- I think he could. Get, I yeah, think Josh so. Brolin's a star. Josh yeah. Brolin's definitely... The only one I could think, and he really hasn't been an actor, but he's kind of transitioning, is that little fucker Justin Bieber. Like, he is... He's making a little bit of a comeback. You know, he's starting to sort of get in the movies. 
I thought he was supposed to be an expendable so. What? He was supposed to be and they wrote him out or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's in that, that, that choice you know one. Sylvester Stallone always likes saving his son for some reason. Because yeah. <laughs> his son died, right? Yeah. Did his, his real son? So yeah, he, he writes the writes character for saving his, his kid. Weird. I mean, I can see that. I would do that. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure that's got to be tough as a parent losing your uh, losing your child. Fellas, we are almost here. This poor guy, is, uh, unfortunately, has to think of. Uh, he can, he can make a podcast just of all the shit that he sees. Like, he hears. how long have you been driving? Me, I used to drive yellow taxi for like a year. About a year. A year and a half. And What's the craziest thing, thing you've seen? There's many crazy things in the taxi. To What's be the honest. one that was like, I can't believe that like, you went home and you slept and you thought about it? You was like, what I mean, the fuck you see crazy things like, you know, people getting heads to each other in the back of the cab. Oh, it's a lot of that. sex. A lot of yeah, sex. Yeah, a lot of sex. Awesome. It's crazy. Not in, I mean, not in this. For but in the yellow taxi. Would you let them you, know? Would you let them do it in oh, here? We can't say nothing. No. Really? Yeah, we uh, can't. And this is your car. This car is mine. Yeah, so if, so if they, people were in this, I, w- I would say something, but in, uh, yeah, in the yellow taxi. So somebody came on the seat? Absolutely. They're like, wait till you get to the hotel. hotel. So somebody came on the seat that I'm saying? No, no, no not in the <laughs> Yellow taxi. The yellow yeah, yellow taxi. taxi. The green taxi, whatever. Lime taxi. No, the yellow ones. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was a while ago, huh? <laughs> no, they're still in town. Yeah, oh, still... What's the difference between the green and the yellow ones? I uh, honestly don't know. There's, there's not a big difference, but uh, it's the same thing almost. Checker taxi, right? Yeah, it's like a checker taxi. Okay. That's old school view. At least you got a free show. So you just got to sit and watch and then you have you nowhere to... You got to put the music up and you just have to pretend yeah. he's not seeing something. <laughs> God damn. Yep. God damn is right. <laughs> like those yellow taxis. I can imagine what they see. But you got How many divider. people have you had to call the cops on because yeah, they were being mind. assholes to you? Like two, three only. Wow. What they do? Did they try to like threaten you? Like, like they were punching the. You know how Yellow Taxi has the the, the, the divider? Yeah. Uh, like punching the divider for no oh reason. God. Drunk. God. Like idiots. So I drunk. And white. then in this car, like I got, I just got this car like a month ago, brand new. And someone Actually. was about to throw up, right? Okay. He opened the window, he started throwing. I was like, I'm not taking it. There's no yeah, way I'm taking yeah. this. Yeah. He wouldn't get out, so I had to call the cops. Wow. Yeah. Do you get? Um, I would recommend you getting some uh, file bags, bark bags. Yeah. Um, just to get some. So in the get, back. Yeah. yeah. So they don't ruin your car. I, I should. Yeah. Yeah. The people you know, after they drink, they get nauseous and throw up and all that stuff. So yeah. See all well, the trouble you cause. Yeah. I, I, I know it's him. This, this guy. <laughs> no, you ever throw up in a cab? Actually, no. I don't throw up a lot. <laughs> I actually do. You know, it's like I'm pretty much impervious to it. The only thing I really go through as a drunk is when I stop drinking, I'll get dry heaves sometimes because I've smoked too many cigarettes the night before. But as, as far as throwing up goes, I'm pretty good. That's the podcast. Okay, fellas, that's that's Thank that's you, the Sahil. podcast. Sahil, right? Yeah. I apologize for this the, this uh, this conversation. It's like a way right here, right? Uh, it's right over here. Oh, the comic book? Yeah, because we don't have. Alright, thank you. Alright, thank you. Put it in it.